What the fuck? Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy, you know, and we are back on somebody's fucking screen. Anyway, so <laughs> I have a very special guest today. I uh, have my boy Lewis and my boy Frank. If you don't know, Lewis has a YouTube channel and a podcast. Let me know where you got to find him at. So you can find me on YouTube and um, any podcast like uh, Anchor and Spotify. Spotify as well or whatever. Stone Day Problems for both of them. Check me out. Yeah, I'm here with the boy. So here we go. Oh, today's podcast. I'm not Bobby screen. Smarto either. We're being brought to you by Joe Budden, um, your favorite podcaster in history. I don't know if y'all like me because I don't. The most volatile motherfucker. <laughs> Whatever the oh, fuck God. you want to call this man. Joe Budden is in the news today. Well, yesterday because we don't really give a fuck about today. Um, Joe Budden's in the podcast today because that nigga decided to come out yesterday and say he was bisexual. Um, That's starting the news. Pump, pump I mean, honestly, I'm not. <laughs> honestly, honestly, I'm gonna be quite honest with you. I am low key not surprised because as I said to you before the podcast, like as we before we record, a man that exudes this sort of like constant masculinity is usually hiding something. But at the same time, you don't know if he's just trying to be politically correct or whatever, trying to save his fucking face because, you know, who the fuck watches Joe's Buttons podcast anymore? You'd be <laughs> surprised. Like I don't know, man. Podcast. Look at DJ Academics. The motherfucker left because Joe Bunn is just a fucking straight a-hole. I mean, we're not, we're not going to talk about... Even though DJ Academics is known as a fucking dick sucker. We're uh, not going to talk about his fat ass right now. We're going to talk about this bitch. But you know um, what I mean, bro? Like, the guy left. I know so, we don't know who Joe Button is besides the fact he's a very well-known podcaster on Spotify now because he was on youtube but apparently you know since youtube didn't want to pay him that coin he didn't want to stay there um joe bunny is known to be on loving hip-hop he does make music if you listen to it um he's known to be in relationships with two very important well not really important people but you know he watched love hip-hop tahiri and y'all favorite latinas in santana who was fucking on erica mena um when Joe Budden came on the podcast episode, he decided to come out and say that he was bisexual. If you listen to the whole context of that clip, the whole conversation was behind the baby. And I know the baby got into a controversy a couple months ago with uh, Rolling Loud because he came out and told everybody that if you... Oh, Lil Nas or whatever. Yeah, Lil Nas X and if you got HIV and da 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 I mean, I'm getting into that because it's not a... Anyway. That's another topic. That's another topic. That's another day. Um... So he came out as bisexual and the internet came in a uproar because now everybody's like politically we, correct now. He, we knew he was gay and then it was oh, he's probably trolling y'all to talk about <laughs> the situation. Or but, he just wants to be on the news. I mean these niggas always gotta play controversy again on the fucking news now. Like, look how we were talking about listen. look how we're talking about Jay Balvin. I feel like a lot of people come out with this really dumb shit or this really controversial shit just to be on the news. You know, like if they seem irrelevant, like I we were talking about Joe Biden with the fucking black chicks on a leash. There's no way you're that fucking stupid in this you politically Joe, correct. You, you said Joe Biden. I mean, <laughs> Jay Balvin. Sorry. We're, we've been drinking Hennessy. Why are you keeping us in here, mind you? It's all candid. Joe, <laughs> Joe Biden. Joe Biden's an idiot. <laughs> Joe buddy. So, him and I were talking about one time about the whole Jay Balvin um, uh, controversy that has been stirring up lately because of the whole black chicks on a leash and he had to like cut that excerpt out of the video. But I was like, we were having a conversation before. Like, I feel like a lot of people say these ridiculous things like the baby mm -hmm. or Joe Budden, you know, obviously who knows what he is behind the bedroom or like whatever. Anyway. But like, I feel like a lot of people, oh, I'm irrelevant now. So let me say something so outrageous, so extravagant that I'm now the center of conversation, center of attention. And who knows? Like, who knows? Like, I mean, you they know. say like, all publicity is good publicity. Right? Exactly. Yeah, it's what I fucking tell. There's no such thing as bad publicity. And it's 2021. Like there's, people know what's exactly. going on now. Like there's and no way you don't know you're going to be canceled. And not do these things. And yeah. with your people's attention span being the span of two minutes, because like look at TikTok, not even two not even two minutes. Like if you don't catch seconds. if you don't catch a person's a, a, a attention within a span of ten seconds with your caption or whatever, you've lost them completely. Period. So I don't know. Like this is very like it could be insipid. It could be candid. Who knows? Like you know, it's really it's really crazy that Joe Bunn's coming out bisexual. Here's my thing. Um, me being part of LGBTQ plus community. Um. 
A lot of women are saying that because Joe Biden, Joe Biden. See, I'm fucking up too. <laughs> he bitch. caught it. I said Joe it too. Budden. Joe, Joe Budden. Joe Budden. Okay, so Joe Budden has had a history of beating up women. Mm -hmm. Um, so here he came out and said that you know he would beat my. He's a woman beater. Um, he ain't never been gay. He's also have been known to apparently been fucking on his dog. Wait, yeah. a beauty alley? Apparently, he made a comment about uh, his dog, and apparently, they put two or two that he's fucking his dog in a booty hole. Um, what the? <laughs> yes. Um, I need a drink. There was a, there was a, there was a situation. There was a there was a situation where since Santana came online and is she this a Cuban. I don't know. Joe Biden is black as something else. He, he also he said Joe Biden again. <laughs> again. Anyway, he also. For all intents and purposes. We're not talking about the president. Joe Biden is who we're talking about. This is not strawberry. This is Hennessy and strawberry. No, it's water because we can't sit on fucking air. Um, oh, just excerpt that out. I know. We're keeping that. Okay, fuck. Because YouTube is whatever. Um, and he also came. Also, since Santana came out and said that at one point in their um, being together that he was not touching her sexually anymore after the baby was born. So. Wow. If you're not touching your girl, you gotta be getting your your your, your okay. But this is difference with that. He said for he said that he lost his sexual interest in her at some point. I, 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 I heard that. I heard that a lot. With women. That I, I I hear that. Like I remember, I had it, one it time on where he's getting it from. I had a homegirl, fine as fuck, bro. Colombian, Venezuelan, gorgeous woman. Like you look at her, you're like, damn. She got pregnant. Her boyfriend did not want to touch her. At all. But why First not? of all, the excuse, oh, I'm going to hurt the baby. You know that fucking common ignorant excuse that while you're having sex while a woman's a pregnant, you're going to hurt the baby somewhat. But I thought pregnancy was the best sex, though. Because women are horny as shit. Yeah, That's but why I was saying the best say pregnancy is the best sex, though. But okay, but some women have that ignorant mentality. But then afterwards, she had the child. Mm hmm he just completely repulsed like I, like you know like i don't know like something did to her body or i guess uh, he got traumatized by what was coming yeah, out of the woman that when that, that is sort of kind of like warps your head like yo your fucking pussy just got completely demolished even though i've had a lot of baby mamas that their pussy is way tighter after than before because like doctors are really good at what they do nowadays but you know there's just a lot of mentality so i can understand what joe budden's saying like obviously i'm not completely condoning wanna, the behavior i don't want to hear that he beats women's ass i don't want to hear that <laughs> i don't want to hear that i'm just saying that i don't want to i'm not condoning his behavior or mentality but at the same time i can understand where he's coming from i, I am a man wait understand wait sorry well, understand, understand that uh, understand Understand why he may not want to be with a woman or with his woman after she's You mean find her attractive? I don't want to. Wait, 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 wait. We're, we're find saying find her attractive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not like, be with her. If, okay, you, 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 wanna, if you want to go into that conversation, you could do that. Find her sexually attractive. I'm not, like I said, I'm not being misogynistic. I just understand because I've known motherfuckers and they've explained to me why they do that. Like, I don't give a fuck. But you know, everybody has their own fucking issues. I just, I'm just completely surprised that Joe Biden's coming with bisexual, which I completely find. Forced. Frank, you have a psych, you have a psychology degree. What do you feel about this? I mean, I've heard it a lot. Like, it's just, it's the it's whole pregnancy thing when people call, like, when guys when are you seeing see such their, a vivid it, thing. Like, and the thing is, it's not only just a pregnancy. Like, a, a bunch of other things happen during, you know, when they're having the baby. You know, there's a lot of force and a lot of blood and a lot of stuff coming. A lot out. of like, it, people see like their wives like. Shitting on the fucking uh, on the fucking table on the table, so uh, you know. So you cannot. You have to actually understand. The thing is, they we don't, it's kind of difficult to kind of. Like I don't. Grasp think, I don't that think he move. was in the room when she had. That's the baby. a fucked up ass oh, motherfucker. They're not that, gonna be that, in the room. If that's the case, then that's I, a no, no, fucked no, 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 up shit. No, 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 I'm saying that I don't know personally if he mm. did, but again, he made the comment, and that was after the baby. But I don't think nothing to do with the child. I don't think nothing to do but with like it. I said, you can all you, you like in all intents and purposes. You can actually like if you really gonna be unbiased, you can actually understand like yo, that's a pretty traumatic experience. Some people pass out looking at their fucking wives or partners just you know excavating mm -hmm. a fucking baby out of the fucking vagina. I like, mean, I've seen that blood in my lifetime at the hospital. It's traumatizing yeah, as fuck. Exactly. So you can understand. But the whole bisexual thing was we're going yeah, past no, to whether that's that's right, that's right, that's right. Yeah, that. bisexuality tees. Yes, let's go back to that. Um, whether that's a valid statement or not is, is, is remains to be seen. 
like obviously the the problem is is that we're in we're in, we're in society right now where you can't just come out and say you gay because you're gonna need receipts yeah we're like <laughs> we're, i'm gonna need gonna you to, 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 let, to let me know where if the gay came from no he the, yeah you know, he I, no as soon as little Nas though. said he was gay that motherfucker made it clear that motherfucker no was he gay. again he said that he was only t the, if you listen to the context of the podcast how he said it he wasn't coming out as bisexual he was saying in the context of liking men and women that way he wouldn't get canceled for saying it bitch you're gonna cancel your ass empty ways for saying it because if it's not true why the fuck you said it i mean but we're going back to the original thing how many people are coming out with fake ass lies just to be accepted nowadays because yeah, of the whole politically correct situation yeah but the gays don't play that the, the gays don't want everybody community either <laughs> i'm just saying bro like in this no, no, I'm, I'm saying in general era, like living, bro people be doing so, i i like bro like i I really do genuinely believe that there are some insipid motherfuckers out here mm -hmm. that are willing to fucking front that they gay, suck some dick, or if their chicks start muff diving, just to get more pu fucking publicity, bro. That's just the fucking air what we live in. Like, who the fuck talks about Joe Budden nowadays? To be quite honest. Okay, yeah, that's true. I don't, I don't, I'm not thinking about Joe Budden. And some basis, people, no. and some people really are coming to that point of desperation when they feel like, okay, my my career is stifling. You're relevant. My now. my relevancy is being thrown out the window, and especially in an era of entertainment where you constantly have to be cutting out putting out content, where right. you constantly have to be competing while with YouTubers, or whatever the case may be, their motherfuckers are putting out content every day. Some people are just coming to that desperate situation, like, yo, I gotta do something so fucking flamboyant, and I'm gonna be the center of controversy yeah. for at least a while. I like to say, I can say my, like, my, that's obviously the the cynical way of thinking about it, but it's obviously a realistic considering the the approach or the the the, the way that we're we're going as a civilization. Now. Me personally, if I wasn't gay, I would not use the gay community to use as a controversy. Stuff. I oh, wouldn't shit. fucking do it. I wouldn't. The gays is ruthless. I I wouldn't dare do it. Look up to the baby with the whole thing with him saying what he said during Rolling Loud. The organization he had to talk to to get his confirmation that he understood what he said was wrong is the reason why he's even rolling out now. That's crazy. The gays had to control over his career for a second. So you you really think if I'm gonna come out saying bisexual with no proof, that I'm, I'm gonna use that to get talked about? Absolutely not. I mean, and the gays on Twitter was giving him a hit going in, in his shit. If I can put him on, bitch, what do y'all yeah. put on Twitter? I know, but bro, let me, I don't have Twitter. I hate Twitter. But I love Twitter. Actually. Um, it's like me. But like, okay, this is my rebuttal to you. Go ahead. That you have to have receipts. You're rebutting? Rebuttal. Not rebuttal. <laughs> you rebutting? <laughs> this is my, I'm going to play the devil's advocate in this, in this whole scenario. Go ahead. What do you mean? Go ahead. I'm going to play the devil's advocate. Go ahead. I'm going to play the devil's advocate. How many motherfucking famous people and powerful people throughout the course of the entire history until after they died, they get found out that they're gay? But majority of them. Majority exactly. So it's not that difficult. Like if you low key gay or bisexual, you don't need receipts, or you're not gonna have receipts. It's called N. Uh, uh, what is it? Non disclosure agreements, for example. Not, that, that's not gonna be. Ass. Look at fucking uh, who is this motherfucker? Bill Cosby. Motherfucker. No one found out he was drugging women until he was in his fucking eighties. A question. Sorry. Go oh, ahead. Well, what well, what did he say before he? But he, that, uh, he said that he was just a talk I don't have to pull, up, have to pull up the, 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 the clip. To, I don't have to be person right now. But the, the clip of when they were talking about, again, was prior to the baby having to be put off his career for the moment because of the fact that he came in. Uh, yeah, yeah, his ignorant 90s statement because, yeah. when, because the majority of people thought that in the 80s and 90s when the whole HIV epidemic was going on, if you don't understand the context, mm -hmm. was... Gay people, when they have anal sex, they don't use protection for the most part. They don't. So they use methamphetamine. There we go. <laughs> so they use methamphetamine. Methamphetamine is a fucking huge use. I've watched a lot of Vice and I've watched a lot of... Uh, like, but obviously, you know, we have a person that disagrees with me. But you also have to consider the fact that, yeah, it sounded ignorant as fuck what the baby said. And like I said, I don't condone it. But it's an argument that has been presented many times by people saying like, yo, these motherfuckers, when they have butt sex... They don't use condoms. So obviously HIV and other STDs and stuff like that is gonna run rampant and again, when you're not having protected sex. And it's not even the gays that's spreading it. And see, that's I know, it's, it's, obviously. It's not, yeah. it's not it's But we're, you're a minority, so obviously you're gonna be targeted and with more- I know, more I'm just I'm just saying for future reference that niggas that listen to this shit, I need y'all to know the gays aren't spreading the HIV, it's niggas on the download spreading that shit. 
That's like I see That's why I ask for receipts, cause not even guys. It's fucking chicks out here sucking dick and don't even ask motherfuckers. Don't, for fucking do not tests. put it, do not put it on, do not put it on women. It's not women's fault. It's not. It's everybody's fault. It's, it's not, everybody's fault. No, I agree, but But it's, I'm not it's, saying it's, that don't it's, just put it on fucking guys. That's fucking irresponsible. Well, okay, let me rephrase that. Heter hetero men is what we need to put it on. Then we're gonna, we're gonna I'm a hetero it. man. You telling me that I'm fucking responsible for HIV? I no, what I know, what I'm like, yeah, no. There's a lot of dirty ass fucking chicks. I'm not saying it's only chicks, but it's not only fucking guys. And I feel like it's irresponsible. Okay, this, or this fucked is what up. I'm, this is what I'm and you're placing it on us. Dudes. I'm not. I'm not sure you put it on me. Okay, this is what I'm, this is what I mean by that's that, right? Up. What else? What else mean by this? What I'm saying is. Of course, if it, it, the, the gay's the one that got it cool, let, let's let's say it was the actual gay community that started spreading AIDS or whatever. Right. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, hetero men who are really passing, not the gay men who are passing. Yes, gay men ain't having use condoms. I would know. They they, they not use condoms. Fine, whatever. That's true. Which what I'm should. saying is exactly. But what? <laughs> but I feel like they're, they're, they're more safe because yes, they know because the medication, there's medication medication now for protection of HIV and stuff, which like prep and I see what you're um, saying. So sorry. Heterosexual men and women do not take that type of medication. They don't. They don't believe in that because oh, I'm straight. I'm not be having sex with a gay person to catch this. It's, it's, I, I it's agree a, with you. A stigma. Oh shit. Okay, let me get there now. What I'm Bullshit. saying is, if uh, I'm saying if, if the stigma of society is the gays is spreading the disease, how is it that a heterosexual man having sex with a woman and she wants to catch something and it's oh well I never been with another man who got it and you're telling me you're straight but the gays got it so he had that sex with a man. That's why I'm coming back to the same context. It's not just one group's fault. It's, it's the everyone. Whole community. There's ignorant people in every single segment of society. I've met fucking women. You know how they fucking come and approach me thinking that they're sexy? I love it when guys nut in me. Yeah. Are they doing that now? Yes. Oh no. 2021. <laughs> I know, but That's oh fucking no. disgusting. You know, I, bro, I'm not even going to say this off. I'm going to say this off air to you. When we talk, because it's a woman that you know explicitly that fucking said this to me. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> women coming up to me, bro. I'm not saying like I like I said, bro. Like I'm completely not. Like, look, I get tested every like like I don't get tested much of that YouTube because I'm not as sexually active. And that's fine. But when I was sexually active, when I was like, all right, I gotta get fucking hoes. I'm like, all right, let me be conscious and get tested every month. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me get tested every two weeks or whatever, depending on the on the the the, the frequency of my interactions with women in a sexual contact. Right. But like, what I'm trying to tell you, it's irresponsible to place the responsibility on one individual because I right. feel like that's ignorant. It's not only gay, like there's gay men, there's fucking gay women or whatever. They're in fucking. Dumbasses, ignorant as fuck. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm fucking gay. Uh, I don't need to get tested, or they're too scared to get tested. That's the main one. That's same thing with heterosexual one. women. Same thing with heterosexual men. You don't like in the back of your subconscious. Yeah. You're like, dude, do I really want to find out that I'm fucking positive for syphilis or or gonorrhea or whatever yeah, the fuck? Until your dick starts hurting, people won't get tested. Which that. is the fucking truth. <laughs> Listen, the first time I got the first time I got the the the, the one of the lower. I was fucking case. scared shitless when I got tested. Oh no, the first time I got the the, 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 the like, lower bro. class crap. Yeah, that was not fun to find out about. Bro, the, the, and I call it lower class for a reason because it's, it's. I terrible. was scared. I'm like, yo, I don't want to get injected in my dick hole because I got oh, gonorrhea. I got in my butt. That was, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got in my butt. I've been clean, bro. Let me tell you something. I got receipts for my uh, Quest Diagnostics for my blood work. Yep. And let me yep. tell you something. When a girl comes up to me and says she wants to suck my dick raw, or she wants me to fuck her raw, or whatever the case, I don't give a fuck. Like if I'm drunk, whatever, I'll put a fuck. A, I at least I buy a Plan B. I know motherfuckers don't even buy a Plan B. Sure don't. Have babies and shit. Okay. I ain't trying to buy. I remember the first time I like whatever. I'm di I'm about to digress. But when I pull up with a girl and you're drunk or whatever the case may be, you know you're about to go and raw, and you ain't got no comments. Right. I'm like, yo, mama, where's your receipts at? Cause I ain't trying to have no kid, and I ain't trying to have being drunk as fuck coming out with fucking chlamydia or something and ruin my whole fucking life for a bitch I'm not even remember her name a month from now. So I'm like, bro, like, you gotta ask for receipts, bro. Like, and I know there's, like I said, there's, it, it comes across all spectrum. Cause I know women that ask for receipts. I've been asked for receipts. I go, you want me to suck your dick roll? Let me see where your receipts are. Let me see your blood work. Absolutely. And, and I feel that it's conscious, but like I've just said, like I just don't agree with you saying that it's us heterosexual men. Like I said, no, I think, I think yeah. that when you said it, when you said you you mentioned women in particular, which I think he caught off. He thought you meant like 
more women. No, no. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. No, no, no. no, no. Alright, so I'm sorry. Everybody. I'm sorry. Yeah, there's absolutely. A, I apologize. There's was a miscommunication with the with the message that was trying to convey. Yeah. It, it's okay. It's though. a broad spectrum prevailing He's problem. Everybody's fucked up. That we yeah. have. <laughs> No, but I don't know what we're speaking about don't this. This is a topic that we should really fucking bring home to people. If you're in your 20s or if you're sexually active, get fucking tested. It's only $40 to get fucking tested at your fucking local... I get tested at the Doral fucking... Uh, what was this called? Uh, the lab work on one on um, Flagler and 97. About, in, some, in some places, depending on I your get insurance, t- you I get got free. insurance. I get yeah. charged $40, and I do it every month because you never know, bro. Yeah, I'm sure you like, can find it for free. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking a- test it. Oh, yeah, you could go do HIV at Jackson. I think Jackson does blood work now. You yeah, just got to wait a long-ass line because it's fucking Jackson. I go to Quest. Quest does it, too? Quest, okay, but Quest goes through a lot of people. I go to the Doral one. Um, I think it's uh, MD Now. Oh. Yeah. MD Now. And bro, I got insurance, blood work, and a fucking a matter of a few hours. I'm like, all right, let me see what's going on. I'm just saying, like now we're talking about the old Joe Bun thing. Get fucking tested, people. Get tested. Like ain't nobody trying to pass on fucking gonorrhea. We're not sailors anymore, traveling port to port like sailors. <laughs> yeah, it was, I, I, I captain. It was like, <laughs> Go no, it was actually on. called uh, syphilis. It was actually yeah. called the sailors disease. Yeah. Back oh, in really? The Ew, no. Yeah, because only sailors would be that promiscuous to be going around from fucking town to town and every fucking country and fucking horns. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. The consensus is, is Joe Budden, not Biden. <laughs> Joe Budden's an idiot. Um, all, 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 all I'm gonna say is I don't know if we're closing it. Either. We're gonna close it. We're gonna close it. I don't know. Let we're only on twenty finish. minutes. Oh, we. I don't. I'm beautiful. We keep going. Yeah, yeah, go, ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. So okay. your view as a, a, a as a member of the LGBTQ community, which I feel like you are the most. Um, Choose your words wisely, little. Uh, no, <laughs> no. No, no, like, you have, I feel like you're the most, you, you have the most uh, 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 acceptability or whatever the fuck uh, in terms of this topic in general. Yeah. You know, because we're both straight men or whatever. What do you feel about this? Like, do you feel like this man is maybe playing playing games or do you really feel like, oh, this motherfucker definitely been spreading bread come, ah, like I the mean, whole Eminem thing? Listen, the, the way I see the industry, especially the music industry and these niggas do, do stuff like that, it's in that space in general. All niggas done tickle their balls by another nigga at some point. I mean, I'm sorry to say, but it's true. All of your rappers, depending if you believe in them, but not in that bullshit, have done some type of ritualistic bullshit to get the wear. Uh, uh, we didn't go through that. That's we didn't crazy. do that, no. Yeah. We didn't go through that. So it's not that know, bullshit. I know, but I know. No, the white boys be doing all that shit. <laughs> the you white know boys why, do that you know why they we don't do, do that. that. You know why they do that? So they could get in. You know what? I'm not going to buy get. I'm not going to go into conspiracies. I'm not going to go into conspiracies. I'm not going to go into conspiracies. It's not my podcast. Catch my episodes. No, it's not my episodes. A stone day problem. Nigga, you gonna learn some shit. Nigga, you do I know. Can, I can, I can match Alex Jones for how long I can go on. Nigga, you, you, nigga, you do know this. Both one on both our channels, so it's your podcast right now too, nigga. But whatever. But more uh, of that. More of that. <laughs> more of that in my segment. Okay. <laughs> but boy, I can dive in on that shit. Bro. Um. Have you ever heard the the skull and crossbones? No. Yeah. No. Exactly. Uh, so oh, this isn't one of the oldest. Uh, that's one of that's the oldest fucking want, that's the oldest society in the United States of fucking yeah. America. George Bush was yeah. part of it. George Bush's son was part of it. You know what they had to do? They had to steal bones from a Native American fucking burial site. And they had to literally suck each other's dicks in a bath of blood. You know why they do that shit in fraternities? So they could compromise each other. Again, so they have who, evidence on each other. What fraternity you know is doing that? Why do you think a whole bunch of fraternities be, especially white boy ones in fucking Texas and shit, gringo them up with, trying to get really into higher ups in government? We're not talking about some fucking fraternity in FIU where we're just trying to get like, I'm not downplaying the fraternity you're getting into. Okay, we don't want to do that. So but when you're getting into fraternities where future presidents, future senators, future high fucking big boy motherfuckers are getting in, they're compromising each other. Yeah. They're compromising each other, but all right, you got this on me, I got this on you, let's help each other out. It's basically how it's oh, always okay. been. This is masculinity at its fucking most perverted, but this is how power play. this is how power works. But obviously we're just completely dead. <laughs> that's, another, that's another episode. That's another day, right? Um, I, I love conspiracy. This is just a preview. <laughs> right? This is a preview of this on my shit, mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, I but just... But like, yeah, like I said, you're, the, you're a member of this community. And I feel like you have, if anything, I'm most justif- 
justification or whatever statement that you make in terms of this particular stuff. Because this is fucking big ass news for a lot of people. Because like Joe Budden is, oh, I'm a big yeah, dick. And that's my, what I was going my, to get my, into. About to fight Migos live and shit. And that was what I was going to get into. Yeah, I'm going to get into. See, the thing about hyper masculinity, it's, a, it's, it's for men who think that alpha thing is the best thing. But for men who know who themselves, it's actually a crutch. Um, yeah, because once you've portrayed yourself to be this hyper masculine man, yeah. once anybody found you, you got to take a bit of game in you. Like your whole, your whole establishment is done so joe biden really joe biden see here we go joe button see these joes if joe button really is bisexual it's gonna fuck his whole career up because no one will take him seriously oh so you're playing with niggas yeah, dicks exactly. and, and assholes and shit like your whole, what, what, your whole you? career has been invalidated right because now i say oh you messed with it's man. like fake nannies in the fitness industry like imagine <laughs> michael horan comes out oh i've been using trend this whole goddamn time your whole career is ruined. That's like a lot. So I feel like this is a big ass ploy. I don't know if it's. I think out, it is a ploy. I mean, out, you, gotta, you gotta look at these niggas who is with the trans girls. I mean, and. That's what I'm still gonna say. Oh, that's what I'm still gonna say. Oh, that's what I'm still gonna say. I understand. Look, I'm understanding. We're talking about trans women. You can do it. I understand that's one of like the biggest fetishes in the entire human history. Like, literally. And I, and I, and I don't know why. Because. Go ahead. Because I could. Go ahead. God damn. That, that, I can't, I can't stand the fucking image. I can't even stand the mental image of a dick dangling in front of my face. But that, but that's, the, that's what's being, but that's what's being fetishized is a dick. That people what is being fetishized is a fucking woman-like figure fucking the shit out of you. So what I understand is because look, I'm not into that shit. And I'm a masculine motherfucker, but I've been placed in a submissive position because you know you got to kind of like play around sometimes. Right, of course. Am I right? It's kind of hot when you're, not being the alpha in the in the sexual interaction, you know, you're letting the woman take control. Uh -huh. So I feel like being into a trans woman is another level of letting another person take control. I mean, but, but, control. but niggas get paid by fem by regular females. So I mean, it's just the fact that it's it's a real piece. It's just it's, exactly. But that's but that's why we're crazy. I feel like it's like people who watch porn too much, right? You go from regular porn, watching fucking whatever the fuck it is, and then the more you watch porn, the more desensitized you become, and the more weird you have to get down the road okay, in order to be so sexually what stimulated. You, what do you call like, weird? Like, 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 imagine so much pussy thrown at you, that pussy gets boring. Like, imagine you as a, like, whatever, you fucking become famous and you have all this dick thrown at your fucking face. You're gonna be like, oh, this dick is so fucking easy. I can grab it whenever I want. Your mind is gonna be, like, no longer stimulated by something that's actively and consciously and perversely stimulating in your mind. Like, okay, that's what happens with porn. That. Like, when you watch too much porn and you jack off too goddamn much, regular porn is not gonna work out for you. Your brain is gonna be like, all right, I've been watching. It's true. Wait, no, no. wait, question. Question, you know, do you ever venture out? What do you mean? You venture out of the gay. The, the, like, the have, I watch, have, have I watched their porn that's not gay porn? Yeah. Absolutely. Or done anything that would not be considered gay. I mean, you know I have history with women. It's not that. I know. <laughs> okay, so, but still, right now. But like since recent... you've come out recently, exactly. Uh, like, since you really uh, taken on your... Oh, since I came about the closet. Okay, that, that was five years ago. Um, exactly. I think I've only been with two women sexually since they came out the closet. I mean, I've kissed women all the time. I'm new. Yeah, but... <laughs> I, can do a, I can do a sober, but they just love me when I'm drunk. I don't know shit. But sexually, yeah, I've been with two women. But... But you ventured out. It was like the reverse card kind of thing. I don't mean, but I never I never said I was full-on gay. No, I, I but it's, it's, that, it's the side of normal being gay. I'm like, yeah, I like, I like dick more. So, oh, he just like dick. That's it. You can't... And people... I mean, I society we, had mind, this conversation, we had this conversation. Yes, it's, it's, a, it's a society of mine. Once, once a man comes out bisexual, that automatically means gay society. No, they I'm don't, not they don't, saying that. No, 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 no. I'm not you. I'm saying what society says. When a man's bisexual, you know, we get back to the topic. When a man says they're bisexual, the world sees it as there is no in between for a man. You either you like dick or, or you, you like pussy. There's no way you have an in between type of shit. That's why I asked. Was like, and so that was saying like Alexander the Great. I don't know, motherfucker. And that's why I'm like, I'm like, I, I, I said pansexual because I'm like, I'm not gonna let y'all give put me on a, on a spectrum where I have to like one or the other. Cause one minute, bitch, my, it's like I might be drunk one night and a bitch be like, come eat this pussy, and bitch, I'm gonna hide you the like this. Okay, and uh, this is where I'm trying to get my throat beat the fuck up. It is what it is. But there's other times where I've been in the room and I see I've been with a trans. I've been with a trans man once, so I can't discriminate. Well, like a, like a, like with a guy a, with a pussy, yes. Yeah, so I can't discriminate. Nobody can discriminate. 
but I wouldn't be with a, with a trans girl. It's just something about the, that aesthetic I cannot do. And I, I just, but wanna, I, I but, just, I just want to say this fucking thing. <laughs> now that no, no, because you're a member. Uh, like a lot of people of your community are going to be watching this, obviously, because you're a member of the said community. I'm just going to fucking say this right now to members of the trans community. Be fucking respectful, right? If you're a trans woman, if you're a trans man and you are beginning an interaction with an individual such as myself, a straight man or whatever, and you're a trans woman, fucking say that shit in the beginning, okay? Say you're a trans woman, okay? Because I fucking dealt with that shit and I, I it, 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 it's irresponsible. It's fucking disrespectful as fuck. That's what your podcast is. I'm not cutting out. Bitch, I get myself canceled. Fuck you, okay? I'm just that, saying, that, I'm not that, saying anything crazy. Gotta, you, I'm just saying gotta, be responsible. No, I understand, but you understand that's really hard to do. That is hard to do. I okay? know, but it if, you're gonna be, if you're going to be stumpy, I know, I understand it's difficult to do. But at the same time, a lot of things that you're supposed to do are not easy to do, bro. You it's disrespectful. To me or to anybody, it's like if you like okay, like I know okay, well, you're pansexual, whatever the fuck the case may be. Right. I just know for the most part that, like, if I'm hanging out with a bunch of chicks, I'm not gonna be a no breaker. Hey, y'all, ring! I got a whole bunch of fucking girls who want to fucking chill with them, like trying to fuck. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that's not what you're mainly into. Right. If I try to push you on that shit, or I try to fucking like low key try to like place you in a fucking position where you're not even given a choice, it's fucked up. But you got to think, you got to think from their, their perspective too, especially when I know like, it's difficult. When they, when they, when they, when they, they very much look like a natural born woman. Uh, uh, sorry for the correct term, a cisgender woman. You cannot tell that girl from jump. Hey, I used to be a man when she looks full on woman, and yeah, she might still have the <laughs> between oh, her legs. Oh, yeah, but, man, but, 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 until, but, running, mm. but until it gets to that point where she has to be like, okay, wait a minute before we get that far, she ain't gonna tell you shit. She does not. It's not required it's for to tell you that. Now, again, I understand that you want to know that, but then niggas really like that shit and don't want to be oh, known. I'm like giving it. a motherfucker an option. I right, don't right. like but that let me say, shit. But listen, 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 you can believe it. You can, you can, you can, you can believe this or not. Most men normally know. Most men don't even put out there on Blast Friday. Niggas that are doing that. But most niggas know that a girl's a trans. You, you know, normally know, know the size is. You can see that obviously I'm. Some of them wear I chokers, know, but whatever. There's a lot of fucking. Okay, but yeah. now we're in, we're, in this, we're in a space where where these niggas now actually really know they are trans. They don't get put in front of the but then they want a trans girl. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, you you want the respect, you deserve the respect. But sometimes them niggas know. Just let niggas do what they got to do, cause you just. But you that's just, them. Me, that's, like that's their that's their prerogative. That's, that's not you. I get, but I know, but just not you. I get. Frank, go ahead. So let me interject. So. I'll, it's not maybe not as extreme a point, but what about when guys just want to fuck a woman? Some guys will beat around the bush until the until you get to that point where the girl's asking, are, "What are we?" kind of thing. Oh, I, look, like, okay, I, you I know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, of course, you of get course. To that point. But women do the same fucking it, it, like when we're going that, back but, to the original point. It comes it's down it's to the individual of being respectful and not being an ignorant or a fucking yeah, abusive the, motherfucker. Because I know women. Oh, I'm not into a fucking relationships. I just want to hook up. But then within two weeks, they're fucking no, FaceTiming all the I'm time and asking. That's not what, that's not what I'm getting. At. It's the fact that you don't want to tell the, the woman or tell the guy that that's not what that's you what want. you're really. But into, you, yeah. but you're you're getting. You know, you're beating around the bush until then. Yeah, you're just trying to get so laid and pretend you want to be in a relationship yeah. just to get pussy. Yeah, so I understand just, that. It's just, it's just people in general but I are feel like, like that's, But I feel like the whole, like, but I feel like that's another level from what we're no, talking that, that's, about. No, I said it. I'm like, it's, it's not almost. It's not on the same level. It's not on the same level. I'm just saying be responsible. That, that, I'm saying, okay, you, like what you said, you don't have to say because I, it's a big responsibility. It's a big thing to say that you're trans, whatever. Mm-hmm. But if things are going to get sexual, if you feel like, all right, if I meet this motherfucker, we're going to eat each other's ass type thing. <laughs> Say a shit before. Because if, honestly, I'm, I'm going to sound like a fucking bigot, but if I fucking pull up to a fucking motel with a fucking chick that I thought was a fucking original chick, a biological chick, and she was a fucking dick out, I'm throwing that motherfucker out the window. <laughs> this is the point of view, not mine. Okay. Wait, this is what you're not no, I'm not saying I'm it's like, your point of view. Listen, but I say that disrespectful you, as fuck. Like I don't fuck with that. Shopping chair, like you. Uh, I, had a, I had, I had a fucking, I had a. We game. don't hold back in this podcast. I don't hold back. Right, no. okay. Like I said, I may sound like, I may sound like a fucking bigot. 
But it's fucked up if you're a fucking trans woman and you wait until you motherfuckers are pulling down your pants to fucking state what the fuck is going on. I'm just, I'm just fucking saying. I'm just saying. If you tell me before I'm a trans woman and whether I agree with it or not or whether we continue forward, right. that's complete fine. But at least you gave me the choice. I'm not going to be like, oh, you a fucking little bitch or whatever. No. But I, I'm, I'm all right. At least you treat me with respect and I'm not going to buy a waste money on a motel, buying a bottle, getting all excited. And then I pull up with a, I, I can't do it. I, I can't do it. I, I can't do it. We know, we, we, we understand. No, you, you're absolutely we understand. But I said, I, like you said, there's a fucking lot of people that motherfuckers that like that shit on the low key. I know. That's your thing, bro. Like, I don't fucking judge people. Whatever the fuck it floats your boat, whatever gets your dick or pussy tingling, do it. As long as you're not killing or raping people. Period. Do whatever the fuck it is you want to do. If you're into that sort of thing, fuck it. We're in 2021, right? We're all accepting people. So, do it. You know what I'm saying? But I just thought my thing. I'm just saying because there's a lot of motherfuckers crazier than me that will fucking put a motherfucker in the hospital. With that being said, Mr. Violent, um, <laughs> that, happened, that happened to my uncle. That's what I was oh, saying. Oh, see, uh -uh. my uncle had to go through that at a club, and when they pulled up to the motel, my dad said that as soon as he walked up to the motel, all he saw was the ambulance because my uncle beat the shit out of this motel. Oh no, we have that. But that was probably we do not you do not exclusive violence on this podcast. Anymore, no, we but... don't. But I'm just saying. <laughs> Are we gonna keep on or? I I'm think just, we should close. I mean, oh, okay. we no, should. Never mind, yeah, we've gone into a whole premise. Oh no, you want to start? I, you talking. That, I mean, that I think it also comes into an ego thing for sure. It's not an ego. No, 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 no it's not you. What Frank is saying, okay, let's say the back of the, the back of your mind, let's say you were talking to the trans girl this whole time, right? And you and you and you constantly knew she was, but you didn't do anything about it. You let it go because you know what? Whatever. Like, no, there's no banter and there's no problem with what's going on. If y'all get to the point where you actually have all this time and like, damn, I just might do this. And you get mad because you're like, wait, what the fuck? Is it cause you possibly in the back of your mind like, you know what, damn, I actually might want to do this, but I never thought about it till this specific person got me to think about doing this. Because it happens a lot. But a lot. what does pride have to do with this particular because, thing? Because, because, okay, back to the whole hyper-masculinity thing. A lot of niggas don't want, a lot of niggas who want to find out they like niggas, they don't like talking about because, again, like in Joe Budden's case, if people find out I was gay, I'd have been, been the type of man I am and doing all this. Yeah, your, whole, your your reputation Exactly. So imagine a man who likes trans women low-key and never would do it because they knew if my boys find out, they're going to cut me off. Yeah, I'm ostracized. That's ego. Because you really want to do this shit, but now you have to do it behind closed doors. That's how this the is my, that's, is that, this is how deal culture happens. This is my this is my rebuttal. Well, you, We're sociological creatures, motherfucker. Again, Whether I, you want to accept it or not. We are always going to be conscious about the opinions of other people. But, but that, Those people who say, I don't give a fuck about what anybody thinks. I'm agreeing with you. Now I'm understanding yeah. what you're saying with the whole pride thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I am like, like, it's like, bro, we've had this conversation, bro. Like, I, I am confident as fuck. I am completely conscious of what my sexuality is. But I've told you, I've been fucked in the ass by a fucking chick but it's a fucking chick you know what i'm saying like i'm and, at and, that. And, and, and that's why i say that my, my sex should not be on just a you gotta fuck the pussy and that's it like get your ass eaten as long as it's by the person you are you that you have a certain trans whether man or woman or trans whatever i just can't and do look, what a fucking guy that's it, okay that's fine but as long as you do it a girl and you don't mind breaking those boundaries with a woman mind. you're okay but that's my problem with with people now is that you're scared to break certain boundaries because you feel like, oh, if I do this act, even if it's with a woman and you're straight, oh, no, it's no, gay. I don't care about that. But a lot that. of men like that. Like, I'm oh, don't, that don't touch my ass because I want to think you going to do shit like that. I know motherfuckers. I know motherfuckers. I had a conversation where I had an or argument because, you know, I fucking profess my love. I, I get my ass. Yeah, you yeah, we love your ass. You know, <laughs> I love it. It's the best thing in the fucking world. We don't, we don't chat. I mean, I don't have a problem with it, but I'm just saying, like, I had a conversation, because I, I used to hang out with some guano ass motherfuckers, like Periqueros, big boys, fucking, you know, roided up. And I told my yo, like the girl, told me like, yo, she eats ass, she loves Naruto. Like, you know, some girls were like really into it. Like the, he does. 
Motherfucker, are you gay? Like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, I already let my girl touch my ass because that she's gay. And that is see, that's exactly what they were talking well, about. But that's what I consider toxic and insecure but that, masculinity. That, and that, but that's that what, exactly, 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 what we're, exactly yeah, yeah, what we're getting at. Okay, now we're agreeing. Okay, I know, yeah. I get it. But like I said, like, I'm masculine as fuck, but I, I'm like, all right, I'll I'll be down to do whatever with the fuck with my girl. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Obviously, we have to have that level of conformity and that level of trust or whatever the fuck, but if... if but it's to that point. But if it's obviously, I know what my cutoff range is. But yeah. I get there's those motherfuckers that are little inquisitive motherfuckers, and they don't know if they like trans or not. <laughs> but they're kind of scared of what's going on in the back. Like, oh, what's gonna happen to me in my social circle if I yeah, come out? Yeah, but let's 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 just my gate, but boyfriend. Right? I was gonna go, I was gonna go even. I was gonna bring it down a level. Not even have to be sexual or anything. But it's like when somebody's feeling somebody, you know, gay, straight, whatever, like. You put so much time into this other person, and then when it doesn't pan out to the way that you want it to be, you get mad at yourself because yeah, it's like, it's fuck, what did I do? Not me, that's a, yeah, I mean, yeah. To you, it's a waste of time, and you doubt yourself and your decisions that you yeah, made. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, so what then, was I into? Well, like, no, that's, that's what I was, uh, I was fucking stressing about. That's like, what, the last that's, time we had dinner, I'm like, the fuck, I was stressing over this girlfriend. She's just a regular but, ass but fucking chick. That's me bringing it down a little, but imagine that thought escalated to but that. At the end, and it all has to calm down to. The beginning which is sexual attraction okay like if you as a straight man you're not gonna go up to a dude if you're not into dudes no of okay? course that's what i'm saying at the end of the day it's sexual that's literally too many, like, we can extrapolate it to emotional we could extrapolate it to spiritual we could extrapolate it to fucking mental obviously because we're very conscious creatures and we're a complicated motherfucker but at the end of the day if you like like you're a pansexual like woman or woman that means men and women that means you could go with whatever better for you you have the whole fucking world at your disposal <laughs> that's not how that works okay it's true it's how it works but Fuck, not, obviously, yeah. in my mind it's just not how that works but you're right it does work that I'm, way yes. obviously i'm breaking it down to the brass tack obviously yeah. i'm not trying to belittle or bigot your oh, no, no 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 i don't feel like that at all not at all not, no. it's what i'm saying it's like if you're a guy if you're curious then go for it but obviously like i said at the end of the day what i'm trying to say is we are social creatures so like what you're trying to say like oh it's difficult for a trans woman to come out as a trans woman it's difficult on the other end of the foot for a guy that that, that you know you're curious and you don't really want to accept it even as yourself because you're about to completely destroy your fabric of reality and that's about to step not, into that's another what one. we were not saying in the beginning so now that we got to this point now you're yeah, bright, you're yeah, bright, you're, destro yeah. you're destroying yeah, your fabric. Fuck social circle. Now we're going on to another level. You're destroying your whole concept of like, what am I really into? Yeah. yeah. What rabbit hole have I fucking dug myself into? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, I, like that's why I completely agree with. You. Okay, it's difficult. That's why I said, but at least you give the respect. Right. But if you're a guy and you're curious, yeah, like, bro, we've all been fucking weird as fuck thinking about shit or whatever, but. It's up to you whether you want to like dive in or not, or like you know what I'm saying. Like I don't know, like Joe Budden at the end of the day, man. The guy's in his fucking forties. Oh, Joe Budden. <laughs> Joe Budden. The uh, guy's in his forties or whatever. Like uh, I took it this long, but who knows? No, he's not dead. He's not that old. Really? No, no, he's not that old. He before. has to be in his fucking forties. Yeah, no, it's forty. I say he's in fifties. Let me look. Um, yeah, you can look at that while you look at. Um, I'll get to the last point since I just love how we're all in place right now. I love it. Um, too many problems. Too many. Bi biphobia. We're ending up with biphobia. You don't know what the fuck that is. Biphobia. Forty-one years, so I got it. Say, say, say oh, old, old. Bitch. Forty-one. Old in in rap. <laughs> old in general. to come out with a song in forever. Biphobia. Um, biphobia. I and mean, I it's, not, it's, not the fear, it's not. It's not the fear of being bisexual. I, I hope. I, I, I know. I know what phobia means to be fear of, but it's not a fear of bisexual. What I said earlier about the fact that him being a man with the with the what he's brought to the table as. As, as persona right him being bi is always going to hurt him more than a woman being bi oh of course and we can we can we ain't got to go into a full conversation about that we all know how that yeah. works oh, of course. so i just feel like to end the conversation with this if joe I almost said bi biden again <laughs> if joe Biden really is bisexual i hope it's about to break a whole bunch of people's gonna, tablets gonna, gonna, gonna a whole, gonna break, The tablet's already done broken off. And he put a tweet out where he said, oh, yeah, talk about me. Like, keep going. Like, nigga, you, you, don't, you, don't, want, you don't want He might just be a attention whore. He is, he said, but he don't, he don't want these problems. The gays don't play it, I'm telling you. Give me a tirade. He do not want these problems. I so I hope, and we come, we come to a close, I hope 
that he was playing, because if it really is true, he's fucked. Yeah, but if he's playing, he's still fucked. I mean, yeah, but like you said, like Frank said earlier, good publicity, publicity, still publicity, but not the way you want it. Yeah. Oh, you about to get your ass killed. Oh, yeah, because the gays don't play about play. I mean, the uh, not even uh, the gays. Not you, even the gays. The gay. politically correct motherfuckers don't play. And by the way, don't don't play, we don't want you to get anyway, so you take your ass back to where the fuck you came from. All right? <laughs> anyway. Stop trying to pick a fight with Migos and shit. Just try to stay relevant. Even though Migos have been irrelevant. Yo, Culture 3 was garbage. Y'all need to split the fuck up. Offset, do your own career. I'll say do your own career. Hey, right. <laughs> if I told Joe, 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 but it actually probably like, bitch, I wish you would, nigga. I wish you would, what, bitch? Don't pull up on you. Bitch. Oh, my. We, we're not going to do violence. pull up on you, bitch. We're not going to do violence. I ain't scared um, nobody in my fuck. Anyways, well, I mean, are, are, we get, are we doing an episode for you? Or just, hell yeah, uh, let's go, bro. I'm okay, so go. thank you. Let's get out some more of that Henny before we keep going. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, bitch? All right. <laughs> I'll buy the hookah. Exactly. Just take <laughs> Hold up. I got a piece out. Damn. Yeah, sorry. Thank you for tuning to Bitch for the Problem. Thank you for my two special guests. It's your boy Louie. Check me out on YouTube, Spotify, all that bullshit. Stone the Ape Problem. If you want to reel that real conspiracy historical shit, <laughs> check me out. But, you know, it's a pleasure and it's a privilege <laughs> to join my boy on this special episode. So. And Frank, you want to shout your, your, your Check me out of- randomly whenever I appear in any other. He's a guy. <laughs> if you need your computer filtered out with porn, he's your guy. He's your computer with. You know what? Bye. I can't say the whole. Ass on. Bitch, where?